been chatting with Deborah Thomas Weigel, who teaches watercolor workshops at the Newton Fine Arts Center. So, Deborah, can you tell me why did you decide to become a teacher? Actually, the truth is, Catherine asked me. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it before, but once she asked me and I started thinking about it, I thought it was kind of the perfect fit because I'm kind of a self-taught artist and I thought I had a lot to share. And I was a physician for 30 years and you know, doctor also means teacher. So for 30 years I was teaching really people about eye health care. So it was kind of a perfect fit now that I'm into kind of my second career. And how long have you been teaching at DMV? I think about five or six years now. Okay. Yeah. And you have some examples of your watercolor paintings here. Can you tell us about them? I do. And one of them has been framed, one of them hasn't. And the majority of my classes are portraits of animals and portraits of people. And I also brought this one uh, because I also do a demo on how to frame without glass. So this one is framed without glass. This one obviously hasn't been framed. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I like to make the portraits, whether animals or people, and really it's very similar techniques. Um, a little more interesting to have a little more personality. Mm -hmm. And your paintings of eyes are always very detailed. So can you tell me why you know so much about eyes? Well, because I was an ophthalmologist for 30 years, so I've seen a lot of eyes, and I just think eyes are beautiful. Um, I think, particularly when you're doing portraits, I think it's the most important thing is to get the eyes correct and give them a lot of character and personality and make them look 3D and luminous and juicy. And as I tell my students, if you can get the eyes right, you really can mess up on just about anything else and it'll still be a great portrait. <laughs> yeah. So your animals in watercolor workshop is always very popular. Why do you think this is an exciting topic for students? Uh, mostly because most people love pets. I mean, there are very few people that don't like, well, animals, whether they're wildlife, domestic, or, um, you know, or, or pets. And a lot of my students do come and they want to paint their dogs and their cats. And they, and they want them for presents. They make great presents for people. So um, I, I just get a lot of students that, that want to do that. Yeah. Uh, so some people think that watercolor is a difficult medium. Do you think that anyone can learn to use watercolors? Well, uh, to be honest, probably not. There are probably people that either don't have the interest or they don't have the patience to learn because Watercolor, there is a learning curve to watercolor, learning how to handle the pigment to water ratio. Um, and it takes time. It takes a lot of painting. And if you're patient, I think that, that you can do it. It's, but you do have to have the interest. Uh, otherwise, people get frustrated and they give up. And it's, it's not one of those mediums. I know a lot of people say that you can't make corrections, but that's not true. There, you can make corrections in watercolor. So besides learning painting techniques, have you noticed any other benefits uh, from students that are taking your workshops? Um, you know, the truth is, I think that there are more benefits besides learning painting techniques. Uh, a lot of people come to my classes because they want to socialize. There's kind of a camaraderie. Uh, it's interesting to watch what other people do. Um, so, you know, I think, I think we can all kind of be artists. It's just you have to find what you're good at. People are artists, whether you garden or you cook or whatever you do. You don't have to put paint on paper in order to be an artist. Mm -hmm. yes. So what would you say to someone who is hesitant about signing up for a class or a workshop? They don't think they have any artistic ability. Well, like I just said, I think everybody has artistic ability. Um, and it, we've all seen the little saying that when you're a kindergartner, you know, everybody's an artist, and then as you get older, it keeps dropping off. But I think we all have artistic tendencies. It may not be drawing, it may not be painting, but it's something. And it's also fun to try new things. I have a lot of students that come and they say, I cannot draw. But a lot of those students can learn to draw. It's just a matter of having some confidence in yourself, not being afraid to make mistakes. Uh, and being able to practice and do a lot of it. I think a lot of people 
you know, can come here and really get something out of it. And Dunning Fine Arts Center has so many different classes to offer, so there's a huge variety, and there's usually something that you can do here. Yes, yeah. something for everyone. Something for everyone, that's right. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to thank you. talk about your workshops. Yeah. Uh, we will have a link underneath this video, so mm -hmm. folks can check out your course descriptions and sign up. Good. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.